LinkedIn is home to over 20 million companies and 90% of recruiters. So if you're a job seeker, it's definitely the place to be, but you might be wondering, how do I even get noticed and start seeing results on the platform? In this video, you'll learn six steps to skyrocket your connections and bring recruiters and hiring officials straight to your inbox. If we've never met before, I'm Heather Austin from ProfessorAustin.com and The Career Club on Facebook. And on this channel, I teach professionals just like you how to build your personal brand so that you can land your dream job and grow in a field you love. So if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. Also, hit the bell notification so you're notified when I publish a new video or do a live training every week. And for even more LinkedIn goodness, make sure you take a look at my free, five day LinkedIn mini course, where you'll learn how to take your profile from tragedy to triumph. I'll place a link for you down below. So you probably get those emails from LinkedIn telling you how many profile views you get in one week. Well, if you are searching for a new job and your profile views are coming back in the single or the double digits, it's time to do something different. So let's jump into the six steps you need to take to get more views on your LinkedIn profile. Step number one is to make more connections. If you're looking for a new job, make it your goal to connect with at least 10 to 15 people every single day on LinkedIn. And don't just connect with anyone. You want your connections to be very intentional. Do a search on LinkedIn for your job title or the job title that you want. You could even choose to search for industry specific keywords and then narrow your search down to just people. This should give you a really good list of people that do what you do that are doing something that you want to do or people that are in your industry that you can start connecting with right now. You can also connect with people you know personally, past or current coworkers, or even people that work for companies that you'd like to work for one day. And for every connection request you make, add a personal note. People are much more likely to accept your connection request and start that relationship building with you if you tell them why you'd like to connect. Here's an example of what you could say. Hello, Sally Sue. Your recent post on LinkedIn about productivity hacks in the workplace was so interesting. Thank you for sharing your thoughts. Would you mind if we connect here on LinkedIn? You may even be able to strike up a conversation with your new connection to make a stronger relationship. You can ask if they have any tips for you moving forward or if they have any job leads for you. Tip number two, join a group. One great way to make connections on LinkedIn is by joining groups and you really only need need a few groups that are relevant to your industry and what it is that you do or what it is that you want to do. You can find groups by searching industry keywords or your job title in the search bar and then narrowing it down to groups. These groups are the perfect place for you to build stronger professional relationships where you're part of a community that helps each other out, that shares in similar challenges. You can ask questions and you can celebrate your wins with others in that group. You may even be able to get leads from other people in the group where you can find a job that's a good match for you. And in these groups specifically or with your LinkedIn network, one of the best things you can do is step number three, make original posts. Now this doesn't mean to make a post that says I'm looking for a new job, although I have seen posts like that work before. In general, you want to post about your experience and your expertise. You can share tips about your philosophy or industry secrets. You can even talk about your professional shortcomings and things that you've learned from that. You could even make a post about your professional successes and celebrating those successes. If you don't know what to say, you can even ask questions to people in the comment section of another post. You can even create polls. The thing I want you to keep in mind is be creative. And if you really want to get a lot of views on your LinkedIn profile, make meaningful posts every day or even multiple times a day. And don't just make a post and for Forget about it. Make sure you're staying very engaged in the comments of your own post. This leads us to tip number four, engage with posts. This means to like, comment, and reshare posts with your own network or in groups that you are a member of. Remember, engagement is huge. It's the key to getting noticed by new people. Plus, it will help others in your network to get to know you better and to remember 
who you are. And remember to take the time to engage in any groups that you've joined. And of course, engaging in the comments of your own posts is huge. It's all about contributing to a community that already exists in your industry or creating your own community around your brand. And as you engage and build this community, you should always remember step number five, be friendly. No matter how you engage or what you say on LinkedIn, you should always be friendly and positive. Build people up and encourage them. Don't tear them down. And if you ask for a favor from someone, always be grateful and gracious, even if you can't help them out at the time. And if they ask for a favor from you, do your very best to help them out when you can. Staying friendly with everyone you meet on LinkedIn will keep you from burning bridges or losing trust or giving yourself a bad name. In fact, it will help you build those strong relationships that you need to help you advance in your career faster than you imagined. Which leads us to tip number six, and that is to have an optimized LinkedIn profile. If you don't have an updated and optimized LinkedIn profile, you need to do this immediately. Having a great LinkedIn profile will do the heavy lifting for you. It will help you show up in recruiter searches and it will develop reputability when others go to LinkedIn to learn more about you. And if you're wondering what you need to do to optimize your LinkedIn profile, make sure you take a look at this video right here where I walk you step by step through the key sections on LinkedIn that need to be optimized. I'll also place a link for the video down below. And don't forget to grab your spot in my free five day LinkedIn mini course. I'll place a link for you down below as well. And if you like this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button down below. Be sure to subscribe to this channel for more videos just like this. And I will see you in the next video.